Hello grade 2 students. How are you? Let's continue our Qatar history lesson. Lesson 2 Ancient Crafts. We look at the objectives. We will re revise what we have previously learnt and we will learn about fishing in ancient times. Let's begin. So who remembers the ancient handicrafts, the shipbuilding industry and about the pearl diving? Have a look at this picture. Do you remember the names of the ships? Yes, I want you to revise one more time. Some of us made a boat in class and really enjoyed the activity, right? And we wrote the names of these boats, these ships on the boat, paper boats that we made. So, some book, can you repeat after me? Some book, very good. Al Batil and Al Jalbut. Bravo. Moving ahead, what is the builder of a ship called? He is known as Al Kalaf. Al Kalaf. So, till now we recapped what we have already learnt. Now let's look at fishing in ancient times. So there you see, these were the two famous fishes that were fished in ancient times. The names, I want you to repeat after me, greasy grouper, greasy grouper and the second one is called narrow barred Spanish mackerel. Can you please repeat after me children? narrow barred Spanish mackerel. Very good. Now what do you see in this picture? There is a little boy and he is trying to grab a fish. I want you to remember that this is not an ancient method. We are doing compare and contrast. This is how modern people go for fishing. Okay, On a, on a small scale. Let's move on. These are the fishing methods that people in the past moved. In the first image you see that there is a fisherman who is trying to throw a net in water. In the second image you will see a lot of fish is collected in that net. And then the fish fisherman is collecting that fish to sell it in the market. Now let's recall the concepts and I want you to understand the connection why this lesson has ships and fishing right so the names of the ships are Sambuk, Albatil and Aljalbhut. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions for me? If you have any questions I always tell you I am happy to answer them for you. Thank you and I wish you a fantastic day ahead.